Welcome back. We got an exciting one for you today with Efren Reyes versus TM Pool here. That's the notorious TM Pool, and it's the Clash of the Titans here, and it's going to be an exciting one. We're going to see both players shoot. There's Efren. He's waiting for his chance to shoot. It's going to be TM here with the break, and we'll see uh, who wins this final match here for the championship. And let's see if T uses his normal uh, soft break here. Okay, good. He uh, makes one ball and looks pretty clustered up. Um, Efren's for sure going to get a chance to shoot here at some point in this rack because obviously the 4 5 there are tied up. Uh, unless T is able to do something here right away. Um, he's got to try to maybe break that up. Uh, tall order, this shot on the one ball is not an easy one either, so I'm not really seeing a way to get out in this rack, so let's see, it looks like he's using draw to shoot the one in and maybe try to go into that cluster, but I don't think that's going to really end up... Okay, so he made it and got the break up, it looks like. But, yeah, safety down the two, so. Yeah, he, I don't think he likes this situation one bit. And I think Efren does like it there. He's ready to come to the table here. He knows what's going to happen. Uh, Tiam will be lucky to even be able to hit this ball. And then Efren's going to come with either ball in hand or... You know, a good look at a good look at the shot here for sure. But uh, there he hit it. That's a good hit. Oh, oh wow. Okay, he actually made it. Okay, pretty lucky there. I don't think Efren likes that too much. I do not think he's a big fan of that shot. Um, but yeah, it, the job is not done. Okay, we. He doesn't have a shot on the three. Does not have a shot on the three, so. Maybe try to carry him into the fours? I don't know. Probably just play safe here. But you know how it is with Efren when he comes to the table with kicking at balls, you know, he usually ends up playing an even better safety. So let's see what he tries to do here. Oh, he banks it in. Oh my God, no way. Two incredibly unlikely shots back to back in that situation. I didn't see I didn't see that coming at all. TM Pool is on a rampage here, and he's rampaging this rack. He's rampaging Efren Reyes, the legend, the goat of Pool. There might be this might be basically like the passing of the torch. You know, that, that might be basically what we're witnessing here. And, uh, you know, you hate to say that. You, you hate to see a legend go down in flames like this. This is not how we wanted to go out. You know, obviously TM's got a lot of respect for Efren. Here, uh, four balls right in the pocket. He's still got another cluster to deal with, and the eight ball is right on the edge. First of all, he's got to try to get a set up here for the five which okay yeah he's actually looking pretty good i mean maybe we won't see efren come to the table i don't know i figured we'd i figured we'd be seeing him i mean is he gonna run this out he want, looks like he wants to get straight in on the six maybe to Hit that in and then draw back for the eight. Possibly. If he can even, if he even has a good look at the six on the next shot. It looks like it's, looks like it's glued to the nine ball there. I don't know if this is even possible. I don't even know if this is a possibility. I don't know what kind of superhuman magic that 
TM Pool is going to pull out of his bag of tricks here. Looks like he got straight in. I think that's what he wanted. Looks he's looking at it. I think he, he got where he wants on this. I mean, this is still a tough shot. I mean, he's got to he's got to hit this in with power and draw it all the way back for the eight ball. And that eight ball is like right on the edge. That's going to be a really tough shot. We'll see what he ends up doing here. Um, when you have to stroke it this hard, it tends to mess up the straightness of the shot, so the accuracy becomes more difficult. So we might see that coming up here. Oh, he got, got a good stroke on it. Yeah, he got some good movement. Yeah, it lined it up, lined it up right with the eight. I don't know if he wanted to be straight in here. He's trying to see where he wants it for the nine on the next shot. Probably wanted to be off the rail a little more to try to, so he doesn't get stuck right on the rail for the last shot on the nine ball here. See what he see what he does here with the way he's shooting. I don't think that's gonna bother him too much. Just trying to see where exactly he wants it. <clears throat> Maybe shoot it like right from uh, right from inside the pocket. So I'll probably just uh, just try to draw it back a little bit. Leave it like right where the pocket is here. Just taking a look at this one. Gotta make sure he makes it. That's the first thing. First thing first, make the shot. And go from there. That's always the biggest thing. Okay, he's not, he's gonna smooth out his Q shaft a little bit here. He's not taking any chances, trying to take down the legend here. Doesn't wanna leave anything to chance. This could be, this could be a legendary win. And he definitely smells blood in the water. He smells blood. He's got the killer instinct. Not gonna let this man out of his clutches at this point. He sinks it. it. Looks like he put it right where he wanted it. It's actually kind of nice to have it right in the pocket like that because you can, uh, got more of the ball is exposed to the contact point with the Q-tip. You don't have to just hit the very top of the ball as you're trying to aim it. You can, uh, you can hit more down toward the middle of the cue ball a little bit. So maybe that's what he was thinking here in this spot. If you make this, this is not an easy shot. I mean, going from kitty corner from the side pocket straight into the corner here. Takes a straight shot, takes nerves of steel. That's what it takes. It does sink it. There it is, the new champion.